Hello and welcome to my uh, first update for the challenge, the painting challenge 2016. Uh, all I've done so far is I've just uh, glued these to the wooden things, so I can paint them, and uh, primed them with uh, that surface primer from Vallejo, um, because most of the most of the miniature is going to be sort of flesh based anyway. And I painted, I primed black where I want it dark, so it's just a normal one. Um, so the shields and stuff are going to be obviously wooden with brass and metal work and there's wooden wooden shafts on the weapons and things. And the rest of them, let's say, is going to be like a flesh colour, some more natural colours. So that's why I've done that. I must admit I'm a bit disappointed in them. Uh, there's a lot of mould lines on these and the problem with them is, they, because they're pre-assembled and I don't know how what they've used to stick them together with, I'm a bit sort of... Uh, don't really want to take them apart, so they're a bit awkward, but um, we shall overcome. So that's where I am today. Let's answer the question. So there you go, that's my um, first day on the challenge. Um, prepping is always time consuming. Anyway, right, questions. Right, the first question says, uh, what is one of your non-miniatures related talents or hobbies? Describe it or show something off. Uh, share it with the rest of us. <clears throat> For you challenge veterans who've answered this one previously, share with us something new or different. Well, um, obviously, uh, I presume I'm a veteran because it's year four for me. Every other year, I probably talked about me drumming. But um, I can't actually remember what I said last year. But anyway, there you go. But... Um, I suppose the only other thing that uh, I really do, apart from paint miniatures and uh, play the drums badly, is um, build web stuff. Uh, my current uh, hobby site is the My Wargaming Live site. Uh, we've That's been built. Basically, we had a choice. We could have used one of the community, just downloaded a community and, and sort of um, used a pre-built thing but that was just too easy so me and my mate we built it from scratch and it's com everything on it is completely built from scratch we've not used any open source code or anything like that we just built it completely uh, ourselves from the first line number one all the way through to line however many uh, hundreds of thousands of lines of code there are in it but um, there's quite a lot it's written in PHP um, and it uses bootstrap um, and it's quite good uh, when you consider the fact that you know the only resources behind it are uh, what comes out of my pocket. Um, we pay everything for it. Uh, we don't ask any money from anybody, uh, mainly because we just love the hobby. I mean, we could slow it all down even further with adverts and all that sort of stuff, but no, we don't want to do that. We've got some stuff in the pipeline to sort of help towards the costs of running it. Uh, but more about that on the My War Gaming Life video. Um, but no, that's the other thing that I do. Um, I've been building websites and web applications since 1990. I think I built my first website where 1994, um, when we were in the wonderful world of Mosaic. Uh, that was for a company in London, um, in the what's the name Wharf, Canary Wharf. A little tech company down there, I can't even remember the name now. Virtual something or other they were called. But anyway, um, so I've been doing that for all those years. I've had some quite interesting jobs in my time. I've worked with Netscape, I've worked with Lotus, I've worked with IBM. Um, so yeah, it's cool. Anyway, um, I think that's answered the question. So there you go. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>